There's growing concern nationwide over levels of fluoride in our drinking water. It's been a controversial topic for years, but recent studies have made a connection between high levels of fluoride and a negative impact on children's health. CBS 8's Shannon Handy has details including what the levels are here in San Diego. Nearly three quarters of the U.S. population receives fluoridated tap water from community water systems. But a report by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services found a link between fluoride levels and lower IQ in children, raising a lot of questions. For nearly eight decades, fluoride has been added to public water supplies as a cavity prevention strategy. While fluoride can be found in many sources, such as toothpaste, drinking water is the main source for Americans, but there's growing concern over what level is safe, if at all. Well, most of the health impacts. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., president-elect Donald Trump's nomination to lead the Department of Health and Human Services, says Trump will push to remove fluoride from drinking water on his first day of office, citing its negative effects. It follows a report released by the National toxicology program in August, which determined with moderate confidence that there is a link between higher levels of fluoride exposure and lower IQ in kids. That report was based on studies conducted outside the U.S. and listed higher levels as being 1.5 milligrams of fluoride per liter, more than twice the current recommended level in the U.S., which is 0.7. Very little research into fluoride has been conducted in the U.S. Now that's changing. Even though the targeted concentration is 0.7 milligrams per liter, that's not necessarily what everybody is getting. Dr. Ashley Mallon is a professor at the University of Florida. She teamed up with scientists from UCLA and USC to look at how fluoride exposure during pregnancy affects children in the U.S. We didn't just look at fluoride in drinking water. We looked at fluoride from all sources. That includes certain seafood, pesticides, pharmaceuticals, and tea. Based on analysis of 229 mother-child pairs in the Los Angeles area, the study found that each 0.68 milligram per liter increase in fluoride levels in the pregnant women's urine was associated with nearly double the odds of their children having neurobehavioral problems. Anxiety, emotion dysregulation, um, headaches and stomach aches, even symptoms of autism spectrum disorder. Um, by age three. Dr. Mallon calls the results concerning, saying more research is needed. So what are the levels in San Diego? Through a public records request, we found since 2019, levels have risen on average from 0.49 milligrams per liter to 0.72 in 2024, slightly above the recommended amount. This year, the highest level showing 1.11 milligrams per liter was recorded in August in San Carlos. The lowest level, 0.227 milligrams, was taken in April in Kensington. The variations raises questions about the consistency of fluoride addition and monitoring in the water supply. We reached out to the city. A spokesperson told us San Diego started adding fluoride to its water in 2011, explaining public utilities adheres to state regulations, which limit fluoride levels in drinking water to a maximum of two milligrams per liter, with 0.7 being the optimal level, adding the city has a robust water quality monitoring plan, including daily fluoride monitoring to ensure we meet all state and federal drinking water standards. Since fluoridation began in San Diego, the city's fluoride levels have remained within the control range. In September, a federal judge ordered the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency further regulate fluoride in drinking water, though it's unclear what action they'll take. Meanwhile, the American Dental Association stands firm, saying water fluoridation is safe and beneficial to oral health. Shanna Handy, CBS 8. If you would like to read more about fluoride in San Diego drinking water or check water levels in each neighborhood, go to CBS8.com and click the online version of this story.